SpaceX now, Joe the Creep speaks. Former Vice President Joe Biden has finally broken his painful and deafening silence about his hands-on approach to politics. So here's the question. Who's handling his PR exactly? They should be fired. This has been a slow and damaging burn for the potential presidential candidate. Maybe old Creepy Joe's PR person should be more hands-on. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project <laughs> and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, you know, beyond that, you know, we can joke about uh, Joe Biden, but when you look at Joe Biden's career, number one, he has been a constitutional wrecking ball. He's responsible for the lot of damage that we are suffering through right now and suffering through because of the people and, and the antics on Capitol Hill. And number two, uh, he may be one of the greatest living, breathing examples of crony capitalism and taking advantage of the system. Joe Biden, for all of his faults, including his touchy-feely creepiness, uh, probably has the best chance of all the Democrats uh, to beat Donald Trump uh, in 2020. That's really bad news for the Dems. If this is the only mainstream kind of guy that they have because everybody else, Graham, is to the left and the far left lane of Joe Biden. And he's got a problem right now and he hasn't even apologized for, what is it, seven women that have come forward and the reports say there might be as many as three dozen that are gonna show up over the next uh, several weeks. Uh, he's gotta handle that better than making jokes about touching more people. What he really needs to do is say, hey, I'm an older guy in my generation. We touched people. Now I understand I shouldn't, and I'm sorry. Those two words have not come out of his mouth yet, Graham, and I think that's a strategic mistake. If he's Donald Trump's opponent, uh, just like Bernie Sanders, if he happens to be Donald Trump's opponent, <laughs> it could be a lot of fun and Twitter will see a lot of activity. Now, there's another guy out there, Ohio Representative Tim Ryan, who says he's now running for president based on his congressional record. Well, I looked up his record on Conservative Review. His liberty score is F. It's 18%. It's barely palpable. It's, it's just barely there. So go ahead, run on your record, Tim. Tim Ryan is incredibly popular in his district where he won uh, against the Republican by 22 points. He outpolled uh, Clinton in the district. He's very big there and absolutely nowhere else. His campaign, get this, Graham, is gonna be on making more jobs available for people. That is the strongest suit Trump has for re-election. Record female employment, record Hispanic unemployment, record uh, black employment, record job growth, stock market growth, and the economy's on fire. Good luck if this guy right. is the lead of the Democratic Party, he'll get crushed. Yep. Well, when he's talking about jobs, by the way, Barry, he's talking about government jobs. Donald Trump is talking about and doing, building, helping to build jobs uh, in the private sector. But when we step back and we look at this group, this is the largest group of Democrat candidates uh, in, 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 in modern history. And they all have one thing in common, Barry. They all hate the president. <laughs> well, as, as you and I have talked about many times, you cannot run on, I hate Donald Trump this much. How much do you hate Donald Trump as your platform? And the problem is everybody is to the left of Joe Biden, who is a progressive. Everyone else is socialist slash communist, and they're all gonna run on the free stuff party platform. Yep. The problem is the people that support that are young, mostly don't vote, aren't involved in the system, and the people that are, that pay taxes, that work hard, that support their families, don't believe in socialism. If this is what's gonna happen, as far as a platform in 2020, I hate Donald Trump, and I've got free stuff for you based on high taxes. I think it's over today. What, I really, what a, really do. They've got to come up with something better. I, I agree. But what a teachable moment for these young people. And they also have one other thing in common. They're all radicals, including that mayor of South Bend, Indiana, Beetlejuice, or whatever his name is. Barry, <laughs> thank you.